Here's an example that ends up involving some interesting algebra. We're given a right triangle and the sides are all given in terms of x. We don't know the length of this side but we know it's x minus 1 and this side is x plus 6 and the hypotenuse is x plus 7. And even though we don't know what x is, we do know that this side squared plus that side squared have to add up to the hypotenuse squared. So we can write that. We can write x minus 1 squared plus x plus 6 squared is going to equal x plus 7 squared. Now remember when you work this out, and we can work this out and solve for x, but remember when you do this, look at this, x minus 1 squared is not x squared minus 1 squared. We can't distribute this little squared to those two things. We could if those two things were multiplied. Remember this, a times b squared is equal to a squared b squared. This little exponent does attach to both of those if those are multiplied, but not when they're added like this. So for this, x minus 1 squared, we have to think of that as x minus 1 times x minus 1 and do a FOIL on that. And so this next line is going to get pretty long. I'm going to come down here where we have some more room. x minus 1 squared works out to x squared minus 2x plus 1. And then we have plus all of this. So I'll write plus, and this x plus 6 squared, remember that's going to be x plus 6 times x plus 6, and you do a FOIL there. That works out to x squared plus 12x plus 36. And then this equals x plus 7 squared, so I'll write equals, and x plus 7 squared is x plus 7 times x plus 7 and that works out to x squared plus 14x plus 49. Now we need to simplify this. So let's just look at the left side for a second. We have x squared and x squared. That's 2x squared and I have a minus 2x and a plus 12x. That works out to plus 10x and I have this plus 1 and the plus 36. That gives me a plus 37. I'll leave the right hand side unchanged for just a moment. Okay, let's, let's subtract x squared from each side. Okay, if I do a minus x squared on each side, well, that's going to cancel out right there and that just leaves me with an x squared on the left and then see this 14x over on the right right there let's subtract 14x from each side and those cancel out on the right and then on the left I'm left with 10x minus 14x which is minus 4x and I'm also going to subtract 49 on each side and on the right, everything has now canceled out on the right. And on the left, I have 37 minus 49, which is uh, negative 12. And on the right side, I just have 0. And that's what I wanted. I wanted all my terms on one side equal to 0. And now we could use the quadratic formula, or this sort of thing is easier if it factors easily. And this one does factor pretty easily. This factors as, let's see, it'll be x plus something x minus something and we need two factors that will multiply to give us a 12 or a negative 12 and add up to negative 4 so this will work if I do x minus x minus 6 and x plus 2 and you can check that with the foil that gives us x squared minus 6x plus 2x, mm -hmm. that works out to minus 4x, and then 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, so that's good right there. So now we can see what x is. What value for x can we put right here to make this equal 0? Well, x could be negative 2, and what value for x could we put right there 
to make it equal 0, x could be positive 6. So we get two answers. Now look back at the original triangle. If x is negative 2, then x minus 1 is negative 3. And it doesn't make sense to have a side of a triangle that is length negative 3. So this, um, this negative 2 answer doesn't really make any sense. x equals 6 is the answer that we want. But that isn't, isn't the answer to the question. That's just our answer to, for, for x. That's our value for x. The question is asking us, find the length of each side. And so now that we know x is 6, we can know x minus 1 is going to be 5, x plus 6 is 12, and x plus 7 is 13. So those are the, the lengths of the sides. So let's write that down as our answer to the problem. The sides are 5, 12, and 13. And you should recognize that as a right triangle. 5, 12, 13 is a fairly common Pythagorean triple. Just like 3, 4, 5, a triangle with sides 3, 4, 5 works out to be a right triangle because 3 squared plus 4 squared is 5 squared. This is another fairly common Pythagorean triple. 5 squared plus 12 squared works out to be 13 squared. And that, that, of course, would be the way to check, or one way to check this answer. This was a right triangle. The Pythagorean theorem, of course, applies here. That's how we solved it. So these sides should work with the Pythagorean theorem. And you can plug those in. 5 squared plus 12 squared does, in fact, come out to be 13 squared.